all right? Okay, now the fourth thing, you wanna choose three more current songs as backups because once you give them your song, like I said, their favorite thing to say is what else you got, what else you got? So in those songs, you wanna make sure they're about 30 seconds because once you choose your main song, then if they ask you for something else, it's nice to give them a little something else, 30 seconds, give them a teaser to make them want more. And if they want more, they'll ask. Then give them another teaser of 30 seconds. If they want more, they'll ask. But in most cases, they'll just say, oh my God, I'm really loving it on the inside. Even if they don't say it, they're feeling like that. And that's what makes them get that pin out. Say, okay, you can come back. We'll see you for a second audition. You made it through again. And that's something that I can offer later on for once you make it past the auditions. All right. So 30 seconds max. All right. Final break set. Final break, step in, get set. It's your story. Yeah, I know, I know. It's your story. Even though they talk about the factor and and the vocals and, and all that other stuff like that, how many shows, singing reality shows, have you witnessed where they didn't have a story somewhere throughout there? All right? So you want to get your story together. I'm not going to tell you what, how, or anything like that, but I'll give you some of this little, a little advice here. It's more than your voice. Please know that. Take it from me. Um, they're in this for the business of it. All right? And you got to know that everybody can sing these days. So many people can sing these days. I remember walking uh, uh, in, in Santa Monica and I was hearing the most beautiful voice and it was it was a homeless person. And I tried to have a conversation with them and that was just not, that wasn't happening. But it was so beautiful. Anybody can sing. Everybody can sing these days. All right. So but what sets you apart from everyone else is your originality. All right. How you became who you are. All right. And how your your voice developed into what it is. So the more interesting you are, the more interesting they'll be in you for good TV. Okay. So consider your story and have a short synopsis. Short synopsis of it that only you can tell. All right, now, so you want to be as prepared as possible because this will help make your experience more enjoyable and comfortable. And it'll also build up your confidence like, hey, I'm ready for this. And when you feel that and when you open up your mouth, all that energy comes through you and it'll affect the people in hopefully a good kind of way. All right. So now, that's step two with the individual break steps. So the third step and final of this particular sharing is go. Go. And when you go, arrive early. The early bird gets the worm. I'm telling you, the early bird really does get the worm in this situation. So if someone's driving with you, have him or her drop you off as close and as soon as possible to where the line will form when it forms or before if there's a predetermined section. All right. Let them park and join you in line later or vice versa. Just work that out Two, be the first to start the line. All right. Be one of the first because they're going to see thousands of people and hear two to three times as many songs. So you want to get them while their ears are fresh because they're only human. And, and, and they will get tired and their ears will burn out, all right? So number three is while in line, make friends with those near you because you're going to need each other, you know, to watch over your things and your space in line while you go for restroom breaks or maybe to your car or whatever else. So that's very, very uh, 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 significant when it comes to these long lines. And it'll make your trip so much more enjoyable. You're having this conversation, this and that, <sighs> because we're all in this thing together. And don't worry about your things because more than likely the people that's there, they want to be there. And they're not going to do anything to jeopardize the opportunity. Fourth, be cordial throughout the process. Be cordial. Be nice. You know, be friendly. Socialize. But limit your talk and group singing time. You'll know what I mean when you get there. All right? And if we have a private session or whatever, I can get, you know, deeper into that. Um, but take that for what it's worth. Uh, also, try not to overpractice by singing your song the entire wait time. Don't burn out before you have a chance to strike fire. Because my dad always taught me, boy, get up, aim high, strike fire, and sit down. 
make room for the next part of the program of the service. Do what you're going to do and move out the way. So that's where I get that from. Aim high, strike, fire, sit out. All right. So the fifth thing is you want to warm up your body and your vocal cords, your, vo your vocals. You can do your research on the internet. You can get an app that can help you with that. Or again, I do offer uh, uh, vocal coaching and things like that. So I can assist you with that if you would like. Uh, it's very important. You don't want to go out and run a marathon. This is very important to you. So you want to make sure that you stretch, warm up, you stretch all this, you know, do all of that and, and you know, do the vocal warm ups. Now, sixth theme is sixth thing is to breathe, deep breathing. Just go back to the basics. Think like a baby. When a baby breathes, the air goes in, stomach goes out. If you get nervous, let the air go in your nostrils as the stomach goes out. And just do that deep breathing. It'll relax you. I'm telling you, it works wonders. All right, number seven. Finally, just do what you came to do and give the audition of your life. And make some eye contact. I know we like to sing with our eyes closed and we're all into it, but every now and then at least open one eye and look them dead in their eye. That connection, it makes such a big difference with people. And if there's a camera, look into the camera. You can sing to the person over here, oh, and then turn to the camera and sing your song. You know, just do your thing, but make sure you do it to the individual or individuals and to the camera. Stereotyping, it does exist. I'm telling you now, it exists. You know, so what you want to do is you want to give them something they're not expecting. Oh yeah. For example, if you're large in stature and you have this soft, subtle, smooth voice, they were like, oh, okay, that's nice, isn't that nice? Yeah. No. But if you're small, they're like, oh, bam, and you bust out with this big voice. They're like, oh my God, where did all this come from in this little body? That's giving them something they're not expecting. Okay. And my African-American brothers and sisters, and even some of my Spanish brothers and sisters, all honesty, when they see you coming, they're like, oh God. They may be smiling on the inside, but on the, on the outside, but on the inside, they're like, oh my God, we're about to get a million runs and riffs. And all this stuff like that. Too much, too much, too entirely too much. So, you know, again, less is more. When they see you, that's what they're thinking. But shock them and give them something different. Give them something they're not expecting. Give them something smooth. And then give them all the. <laughs> but anyway, it's like, okay, like when I have my, my experience, I knew that they were thinking that. I even saw it in one guy's face. He was like, he literally did this. But I didn't let it bother me. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to do what I came to do. And I started out with, uh, the uh, song was, uh, uh, They try to tell us we're too young, too young to really be in love. They say that love's a word. And it's like, oh, okay. I was, well, what else you got? I, said, I see trees of green, red roses too. Now I see them bloom. Then I gave them a run for me and you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and then they ask you, what else you got? If I were a boy, in this case a girl, you know? So shock them. Give them that shock and awe, you know? Something they're not expecting. All right. Um... Or another thing, second thing to remember is the people who conduct the actual auditions, they're generally not musically inclined. I'm here to tell you the truth. They're not. Most cases, they're, uh, uh, what do you call them, casting companies. And they're used to casting for film and television etc. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're, but you got to know that they're casting for the most diverse group of interesting individuals that makes for good TV. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. You gotta know. Third, it's a business. So do yourself a favor and 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 don't take it personal. All right, you know, uh, 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 and and don't be so attached to the outcome. Because you never know if you're so stuck on this right here. Oh, I didn't get it. Oh, I gotta get it. Then the universe is all the while trying to get you to know the possibilities of it coming from over here. 
but if you're so attached to this, you're not going to be able to get that. So once you go there with these steps, this knowledge, and you 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 make a powerful uh, uh, action, then 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 and if that's not it, then the universe makes a reaction and gives you an opportunity over there because you're grateful for what you experienced. All right. So just remember that. Don't be so attached to the outcome. You've done your best. You did the best you could. Leave it on the stage. Walk away. And if this is what you really want to do, then you want upward and onward and continue to re-audition and go out for other shows and just let it do what it does. And it's going to be wonderful. All right. So uh, last thing is uh, kind of mi mixed up my order here, but you know, they can't have an entire show of one type of people or performer. Boring. Very much so. So see it for what it is and do your best to see a way for you to get in where you can fit in, where you may fit in. All right. So, okay, here we are. So knowing is one thing, but what you do with what you know is another thing. All right. That's pretty much it. Now, I've given you some really good information, really good and valuable information to lay sort of a foundation and 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 a, 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 a sort of a foundation for building and manifesting your dreams of making it onto a singing reality show. Now, if you want to go further than you've gone before, uh, leave me your email address and I'll send you a PDF checkoff list of what we've gone over to help you stay on track. So, hey, I am Jesse Campbell. Just go have fun and, <clears throat> and know that what's meant to be will be. And in the beingness of who you are, it may or may not be what they're looking for at that time. But you know then that you can walk away knowing that you've done the best that you can do based upon what you knew and what you had at your disposable at that at your disposal at that time. So again, I am Jesse Campbell. Love and light. Peace.